Hey guys, what's happening? So, I've actually had this bandsaw for probably about, uh, maybe like 15 years, probably, maybe 20 years, can't remember. Had it for a long, long time. And I don't really use it that much. I mean, I use it for its wood, aluminum. But I wanted to see if I could convert it to uh, metal, or put a metal blade on it, and uh, see if I could cut some metal with it. Uh, usually the issue with these, uh, when you convert these bandsaws over, is usually the, mo the motor power down there so um, yeah they typically don't have usually enough power to cut metal just because it's a lot more resistance you know cutting metal more teeth typically and uh, more resistance so you just have to go a lot slower typically um, so I bought a uh, some tires I had to replace the tires I mean they wore it a long time ago so I've been actually using it without the tires for a long time it's a lot more noisy and then I got a metal blade not that expensive um, like fifteen dollars for the blade and fifteen for the tires, so um, I needed the tires anyway. So you know, if it doesn't work out for the metal, um, maybe I can reuse it on my horizontal bandsaw. Yeah, the horizontal bandsaw is good for cutting flat lines, but you know, I mean, for cutting just cutting out bars and stuff. But if I just want to make a quick cut, cut something in half, it's be nice to be able to do that. I mean, most of the stuff I do is aluminum. I mean, I do some steel, but so. Um, yeah, I do actually can do a little bit with this thing. Just the teeth and the blade that I have now are pretty big. So, um, you know, it, it does work, but it doesn't work great. Let me show you that. You know, I was cutting some aluminum off here. So it does actually work. But here is the bandsaw. Let me show you that. Yeah, I don't have the, the tires that failed on a long time ago. So hopefully the tires, I, I, I'll be able to get them on there. I know they're about an inch smaller than they should be, so hopefully I can stretch them. Is that like a, like a balancing piece of metal right there? Not sure. Um, yeah, I had this thing for a long time. Let's see, right here. Okay, yeah, these must be balancing things. Yeah, you can see that I've been cutting metal on it down there. So by running the thing without the tires, it's a, it's a lot more noisy. Plus it puts a lot more stir on this one bearing here. Because it kind of throws it out of alignment. Yeah, I had to re replace the belt not too long ago. Maybe a couple years ago, four or five years ago. It's just kind of well now. So, supposedly these are uh, 10 inch wheels. And this is a 9 inch tire. Uh, they do actually make them for this saw, but they're way more expensive, like 50, 60 bucks. If you can even find them. The original ones are rubber. These are like polyurethane. Um, so I might have to warm these up, put them in some warm water maybe. Um, or put them in the oven for a couple seconds just so I can stretch them more. Man, getting that on was a serious challenge. Let's get me here, it's all into the grooves. All right, gotta do the other one. And I'm totally out of breath. That, even though the tires on was a work. Um, all right, so this is an 18 tooth blade, 18 teeth per inch, 8 TPI. So that should be pretty fine. Um, super fine, super small. I mean, the more teeth, the more re resistance, but, you know, like I said, it's, you can cut f better material. Should be a finer cut. Yeah, you're not gonna get a lot of uh, flex in this. Yeah, it's more for straight cuts, not really for curved cuts. Here's a close look at the blade. Yeah, so, the, if you're not familiar, most, if you're probably watching this video, you're familiar with bandsaws. So the thicker the blade, the less turning radius you have. On. Make sure you stay back in case it comes off. Alright, we'll do a quick sample of aluminum and steel here. better. Well, that's exactly what I was going for. Man, that cut was actually way better than I thought it would. Like, the motor had enough power, didn't even slow down. Um, that's incredible, yeah. Wood bandsaw. Cutting steel and aluminum, you saw that. Um, oops, I guess I could cut some bigger, I have a sample here, but I'm not going to probably cut, 
I mean, it will definitely cut. You saw that. So look at that. Went right through it. All right. I'm excited, man. It was like probably, well, I mean, the blade was like 15 bucks. And uh, um, the uh, tires were 15, 16 bucks. I think it was like 35 attacks. Uh, most people wouldn't do their tires, but, well, I mean, so the, uh, the original one came with rubber on it, but. All right, guys. Cool. That's, it works. Awesome, awesome.